Baking's not for you and you want to make yourself a little sweet treat this holiday season that's quick and easy, make some puppy chow. I know you guys don't think that I categorize dog food as a Christmas treat. Like, no, this is for humans. So the family that introduced me to this recipe called it puppy chow. I know it's called a lot of other things such as Muddy Buddies, but I like to refer to it as puppy chow still. Start off with a jar of peanut butter, half a bag of chocolate chips. We're gonna put this fun little mixture into the microwave until it's all nice and melty. Put her in there for 30 seconds. We're gonna give her a good old mix, see how melty she is, and stick her back in there for another 30 seconds. We're waiting for that to melt. We're going to add Chex Mix to a very large bowl. These are just the plain Chex Mix, not the whole wheat ones or anything. She is looking real melty and very beautiful. And now we're going to pour this beautiful little mixture right on top of our Chex Mix. I like to pour a little bit in at a time and then give it a good mix to see how much more I need to add. That's good. Gently fold the Chex Mix. So you don't want to go in and start stabbing at the Chex Mix. It's going to break into little pieces. Gently fold your Chex Mix. Look how good this looks. It looks absolutely divine, but it's not ready yet. We have one more step. Next step of this process is we're going to take half of our puppy chow and put it into a gallon size of black bag. I don't know how to do this any other way without making an absolute mess all over my kitchen counter, but I like to get the biggest cup that I have, put a gallon size of black bag into the cup, and then I like to try to just scoop the puppy chow into the cup. It's going to make a mess regardless, but not as big of a mess as if I just try to aim it into the cup myself. Now that she's a little bit filled up, it's going to be a lot easier to fill it up with puppy chow. I like to roll the bag down and then add the mixture into there so it doesn't get all over the handles of the Ziploc bag. Now that we have half of our Chex Mix into the bag, we're going to add powdered sugar. And you can add as much powdered sugar as little powdered sugar as you want. I like extra powdered sugar. A little sprinkle. And then we're going to zip the bag up, leave some air in it, and we're going to give her a little shake. You want to make sure the powdered sugar is covering every single piece of the Chex Mix. You just keep moving it around and it will get there. Don't worry. We're going to add a little bit more powdered sugar because like I said, I like extra powdered sugar. And we're going to zip her back up. Give it a little shake, shake, shake. I was recording like an absolute idiot, but this next step is optional. You can leave the puppy chow in the bag or you can put it on a lined baking sheet and let it air dry. And also you can reuse this bag for the last of the puppy chow that we still have to mix up the powdered sugar. This is the second half of the batch. I'm gonna put it on this baking sheet. And again, I'm just gonna let it like completely set and cool. Wear it so much better if you let it set and cool. She is, she is absolutely beautiful. I'm telling you this won't even last a night in our house. I was gonna give it out as a present, but like, it's just too freaking good. I'm like somebody needs to get this away from me. Get it away from me.